All right, well, thank you very much for uh, coming along here this morning. Uh, I'm joined by uh, Roger Sutton from the Chief Executive from Sarah, but also uh, Calvin Newman from the Christchurch City Council, who might want to, you might want to talk to about the uh, process for the Section 124 notices. We thought it was worth highlighting um, just what's happened here uh, because uh, it is one area where uh, land remediation has been able to put people into a better position uh, than they were left in after the earthquake events. So these houses were subject to uh, Section 124 notices, not only because of the damage to the houses themselves and therefore their livability, but also because of the geological hazard uh, that existed uh, up on the hill behind them, uh, where there was loose material from an old quarrying operation that would have meant they were subject to uh, rock roll. Uh, so in this case, uh, it was possible to put together a project that saw uh, the benching of the, uh, the, the rock face, the cliff face, uh, to effectively remove that hazard and to put these people back into a safe position. So the cost of this project was uh, in the vicinity of the million dollars. Uh, it's been done over the month since last September uh, and it's the uh, engineering expertise of Oricom and uh, the construction expertise of Downer that have uh, enabled it to be uh, successfully completed. And I think the point here is that it would be great throughout the Port Hills if there were other options uh, to be able to save the uh, or to take away the, the risk factors for people but as you can see it's, it's not a simple task and this is one of those areas where it was possible and we did it. Uh, in other places it just hasn't proved to be uh, an option for us. So I just want to um, you know, congratulate the engineers, the uh, uh, construction crew who worked on this uh, and also the residents for their patience and uh, uh, indicate too that this has been a great collaboration between Sarah, uh, the Christchurch City Council uh, and the, the local residents to make sure that uh, everything went smoothly. So hopefully uh, now that the City Council has removed the 124 notices, uh, the residents here will be able to get into uh, the you know, process still long from here uh, to rebuild and repair their homes and to get back into uh, that safe environment. So I remember when we first uh, met with the residents and told them that we were going to be able to um, do this work and that was going to allow them to stay and I remember tears of happiness from a group of people and um, that's been great but you know there was always a concern whether we we're actually going to get it done on time you know there's been a lot of earthworks that have been done here a lot of you know difficult conditions to work in but they have got it done on time and um, residents are now free to be able to um, get on with their repairs in their houses which is fantastic. Um, it hasn't been overly complicated it's just been a lot of um, a lot of earthworks to do you know it's a big area um, but it's gone, it's gone very, very well. Um, the residents I've spoken to have been really pleased, they're really happy, um, and they're looking on to getting their community back together again. You know, if we can do stuff to allow our communities to stay together, neighbours stay neighbours, then that's really good. So Section 124 notices are generally put in place when there is a threat to the people that are living in the dwelling or building. The 124 notices in this case in a lot of the Port Hills area were placed on the buildings for two reasons. One because the building was so badly damaged that it was a threat to the people that lived in there or there was a, a problem with potential rock roll in a case of another event. The decision to put the 124 on because of rock roll is around the information and advice given by geotechnical engineers and once we receive that advice, we act on that advice. There is a process that we put in place and also a process for lifting the 124 notices. When we lift a 124 notice, generally what happens is we get information back from the geotechnical engineers. Um, there's already been a plan put in place to mitigate the uh, potential from rock roll and that work has been completed in accordance with the plan and the geotechnical engineers basically send back to say yep they're fine with the um, work that's been done they're happy that the damage has been mitigated and then we go through an internal process and lift the 124 notices. In, in the case of Lucas Lane the 124 notices were lifted a day ago 
um, and that was on the advice from the geotechnical engineers and that was just the, the following the same procedure as lifting any other 124 notice in the Port Hills area.